Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Whip a Light Butter. It's your girl Ashley, and y'all today I'm bringing y'all something different. We're making strawberry crunch tacos. We got the cheesecake filling. Yes, if you haven't already, make sure you try my strawberry crunch pound cake recipe. I'll go ahead and link that above. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So I'll show y'all how it's done. Let's go. All right, we're going to start by adding our cream cheese right into our mixing bowl. And we're going to add our powdered sugar like so. And then we're going to get that blending started. You want to start off real slow because you don't want all that powdered sugar to kick out of your mixing bowl. So we're adding our vanilla here, still mixing. And then we're going to go ahead and add in our sour cream. Our cream cheese is at room temperature, but the sour cream is not at room temperature. I did take it out like, you know, 15 minutes prior to mixing. And you want to whip that um, pretty quick and then um, you want to go ahead and place it into the refrigerator while we're going to go ahead and prepare our other ingredients. Make sure you cover it so it can be nice and tight, sealed and covered and get nice and chilled. Okay, so we're going to make our taco shell. So we have our tortilla right here. We're going to fold it on all four ends like so. Show you here. Okay, we're going to do that again. I use heavy duty foil, y'all, because it's nice and it's got a little stiffness and stuff like that. I think it's better than regular foil um, when we're going to make these taco shells. But, you know, you can always use a taco mold or something like that. I just improvise and use foil because that's what I had. Okay, we're going to fold it over. And then um, you can kind of crimp the ends, um, fold them inward. So, you know, of course, the foil, like, you know, go inside. And then you can also create like a little well in the middle to make sure that you have um, a nice little base for your taco shell. And that's all. We're going to place these in the oven and we're going to bake them for about 15 minutes on 350 degrees. Okay. Place them right here on this pan. No oil or anything. Just the tortilla in the foil. All right. Okay. And so we're going to go ahead and make our uh, strawberry crunch. So we're placing our cookies into our mixer. And we're going to get that nice and blended. Y'all blend it to like your liking. I like it like not too fine because um, I want a little texture but not too thick, okay? And so we're going to add our jello mixture in here. This is strawberry. And we're going to just stir that together. And then we're going to go ahead and add our, um, our butter, our unsalted butter afterwards. Now, if you add your butter and your um, strawberry is not dark enough, you can go ahead and add some more. That's what I did. I used about half a package of the Jello mixture, which is like 1.5 ounces. But again, you know, make it to your liking. Because I'm going to get that all nice and stirred. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay that on a plate. And I'm going to spread it out and kind of give it a little time like to dry. I don't bake mine, but just, you know, give a little bit of time to dry out while we're going ahead and preparing the other ingredients. We're just going to leave it on this plate uncovered, okay? All right, and so we're going to go ahead and use this powdered sugar in our milk, and we're going to make like a little glaze, I guess you can say, you know, like how we do our icing when I make the pound cakes, but we're using that for the outside of the taco shell to get that strawberry crunch to stick. So just add your milk a little bit at a time until it gets a nice thin, thin thick consistency. I'm going to show you how it looks, but like a thin thick consistency. You don't want it like watery like. Um, because you want to, you know, of course, allow it to be able to uh, stick, but you do you don't want it too thick. And also, you want to make your um your icing right or your glaze, uh, just like no more than maybe five minutes before you're getting ready to use it because the icing will start to harden. If you just happen to sit it to the side and you you know you take too long, you can't add a little bit of milk and just stir it into the um powdered sugar to loosen it up. Okay. So we're also going to place that um, so we can have a nice little nice surface when we get ready to do our tacos. So here are our taco shells out of the oven. So I'm going to take each of them out. I did allow them some time to cool and I'm going to let them cool a little bit longer because you don't want them to be hot when you're getting ready to add your cheesecake, right? We got our cheesecake in the refrigerator. We got it all nice and chilled and you don't want to get it all hot with a hot taco shell. So you can use just a pastry brush and um, brush that glaze right onto your taco shell like so. You can um, brush the outside and you can also brush the inside. Okay, and then after that, we're going to go ahead and lay that into our strawberry crunch mixture. Now, 
I added strawberry crunch on the outside of the shell and the inside of the shell, but that's completely up to you. I just like picked the crunch up and just kind of tossed it on the taco shell. You can like pat it in like some little areas, but I wouldn't suggest that you pat it too much because you don't want it to be like clumpy like, okay, but you do want to make sure that it sticks. So just toss and toss and toss. And then, like I said, then you can also add um, some of them inside just if you just want some extra strawberry crunch flavor. And you just want to keep completing this process until you added the crunch to all your tacos. Okay, so I placed the cheesecake in a piping bag. Easiest. And then it makes it like a little pretty, you know, with a little design as you're squeezing um, the cheesecake filling into your tacos. So I just added a layer. And then I'm going back with another layer of the filling as well. Um, this recipe makes four to six tacos, so you're definitely going to have um, plenty of filling for each of your tacos, but I always feel like you should just start like from one and then go to the others with the layer and then go back just to make sure that you have plenty enough filling for each of your tacos, right? Okay, so you just make it nice and pretty like so in all of your taco shells. And then like you can kind of like put maybe something like behind your taco um, shells if you want to help them stand up, you know, while they're drying and stuff like that. But that's completely up to you. So I went in and added a little bit of extra crunch on top of the taco. And then we're going to go in here with some nice diced strawberries. You know, we're going to add a little pizzazz, make it pretty. And after all, these are strawberry crunch tacos. So what is a strawberry crunch taco without some actual fresh strawberries, okay? So you can just add, you know, as much or as little as you like. Just place it on top of your taco. Okay, y'all, we have to get a little fancy over here today. So also, we're adding some strawberries to the side on our plate just to make it all nice and pretty. I just took a strawberry and cut it in half. I like a little pop of green gives it a little bit more color. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, and then you take that little extra icing that you have and make that nice little drizzle on top of your tacos, y'all. I hope that you enjoy this recipe. Don't be stingy. Make sure that you share, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and join us back for more over here with the light butter.